Right. So um, we're going to try to answer some of these questions now. And what we've, what we've done first is we've identified the known substance, the substance that we know the mass of. They usually want you to turn the mass of one thing and work out the mass of the uh, something else. Um, so we've identified the known substance and we've identified it in the formula and in the text. And then the target substance, which again, here's the text, so sodium, and there it is in the formula. The next stage um, in the in these stages that I've done, so I've identified the known substance, is to um, is to work out the molar mass. So the molar mass, and it's always important to write this down. And for this, we're going to also use highlighters to make it nice and clear. So the molar mass of um, titanium chloride um, equals, well, we're going to use the periodic table to find out the mass of titanium, the mass of, uh, mass number of chlorine, and then we're going to do the molar mass of, and uh, we're going to do sodium. And we do the periodic table to do that as well. Let's just color those in as well. Let's take a time with this, make it nice and, um, nice and clear. And I'm just going to take a yellow highlighter here. That's my target substance. Uh, yeah, that's my target substance. So um, if you want to just find out, if you want to just do the, find the molar mass of that and the molar mass of that. Okay, so we've worked out the molar mass of titanium chloride by adding 48, the mass of titanium, to three, four times the mass of chlorine, or the, the atomic mass of chlorine, giving us 190 grams. And the molar mass of sodium is 23 grams. So that's going to come in handy um, later on. What we're going to do, we haven't, we haven't given us much space to write on here. We're just going to take all this and shrink it. Okay. Um, so let's um, try to work out, or remind ourselves, what is the molecular formula. I won't derive it, actually. I'll just, I'll just copy it from over here, from, from my previous video. So ooh, there we go. Mass is equal to um, molar, molar mass multiplied by moles. Stage three asks us to convert the mass of the known substance into moles. Okay, so if you want to just do that. Okay, so we've done stage one, done stage two. Stage three was working out the moles. The, oops, the moles is going to be equal to the, the mass divided by the molar mass which is equal to uh, 10, whoops, <laughs> this equal to, okay, which is equal to 10 over 190, which is equal to 0 0.052, I believe, is that right? Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. 0 0.052 three then moles okay so that's stage three now stage four let's read what it says first stage four says use the equation ah yes and when i say equation let me just edit that because we have another confusion i've I noticed recently in doing moles is casually using words like equation and formula because uh, 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 we're using here moles is equal to mass over volume. That's a mathematical equation, otherwise, or a mathematical formula. And then up here we have a chemical equation, and then and then just writing TiCl4 is a chemical formula. So when I say use the equation, I should have written use the chemical equation or the reaction equation to find the ratio of the known substance known to the target substance so as you know the moles of the target substance okay this is obviously looking at a specific uh, question um so if we look at um this one here what is this normally what we when we write this is we talk about how many molecules or of this reacts with how many atoms of that or whatever from now on i want you to think about this is saying one mole, or if I, and, and I always say whenever I teach um, moles, uh, the word if is quite important because, so what I mean here is this equation is saying that if I had one mole of that, 
I could react it with four moles of this and produce one mole of this and four moles of that. But only if I've got this and if I've got that. But I don't. In fact, I know how many. I, I don't have one mole at all. I have 0 0.053 moles. But if I had one mole of that, I could react it with four moles of that. We're only concerned with these two things because that's the target. Uh, that's the yeah, that's the target. That's the known. We're not interested in the products at this point. So, so if I had two moles of that, I could react it with eight moles of that, couldn't I? So the ratio between the um, the the known and the target is basically one to four, isn't it? So in terms of moles, that is in terms of moles. If we are and we are considered, we are thinking about moles. So the fourth stage is using that information to calculate how many moles of sodium would we uh, could we react it with. OK. So what I didn't include a moment ago was I just put moles and this is something that I should I should be careful not to do. This is the moles of titanium chloride. Let's also use um, some highlighters again. So this is my known substance. My known moles. That's all about the known stuff. Now we're doing the target substance, <clears throat> and then and what I'm saying is the um, the ratio of the known to the target is one to four in the equation. So if I know that I've got 0 0.53 moles of titanium chloride, I'm going to have whatever that is multiplied by four because the ratio is one to four. Okay. 0.5 whoops 0.0545353 times 4 would be our moles of sodium okay okay so that's the moles of sodium we're on, now on to the final step we just have to convert now we know how many moles of sodium we uh, we basically let's just re just remind ourselves what the question is because we we've, we've done quite a bit on it now Titanium is slice from titanium chloride. It's shown calculate the mass of sodium uh, needed to react with 10 grams of uh, titanium chloride. We would need four times in terms of moles. So we worked out the moles of titanium chloride we would have, 0.053. Um, and then we'd say, well, it's going to be four times that in terms of moles, which is 0.212 moles of sodium. So now we're going to do stage five. And we're going to um, convert the um, moles of sodium into the mass of sodium. So basically, we're going to take whoops, let's take let's use my pen. We're going to take the number of moles that we know that we would need, multiplied by the molar mass. And that's going to equal, could you read that out to me again? 12.876 grams. Oh, 12.476. Oh. <laughs> um, so 